of goggles, a mask, a pair of gloves. This is cap, which is a hooded cap, a pair of shoe cover, then towel and the gown. An N95 mask that is being supplied by the hospital. This is the one with HIV and other hepatitis B and C uh, protection kit that surgeons and OT personnel wears it when operating on patients. You are supposed to take uh, sterilium or alcohol based solution and there are ways and means of doing this. There are uh, six or seven steps how to do this and this is the first step that you are supposed to do donning on and donning off while before wearing your PPE. So this cap is to be worn like this. Okay, it has to be sealed right on the forehead and your ears should be sealed completely and then this strap has to be tightened up and this goes back and then you are going to tighten up the strap on the back side. Once you have done your cap and shoe cover, you are again going to take a sterilium and do 30 seconds of hand. There is one pair of gloves which comes here, but you can choose the, your uh, sterile pair of gloves as per your size. This is the first gloves that we are going to wear. There's a, this is the cutout that you will see in the gown and these are the two flaps where you are going to put your hand. You are supposed to put your hand in and one you will need help while tying the gown. There are two straps, both will go behind your head, one on the top and one on the bottom. So you have to take the strap first on the back, one, keep one strap on the top, one strap at the bottom, pull the, pull the N95 mask in front, wear it. There is a metal strip, you seal the metal strip there and secure the N95 mask so that the one goes over you on the crown and one goes behind and beneath your ear. So it is important that you seal the N95 mask so no air leaks out. Before you do any procedure, you are going to wear the second gloves over and above your one glove already you are wearing and this glove should cover the uh, gown also so that the gown uh, gets sealed completely. These two terms which we call donning and doffing, how you don the PPE and how do you doff the PPE because it's here that healthcare worker needs to be very careful and from here once they are issued a PPE which has to be rationed they take the PPE and through a dedicated lift go to the area of isolation and they change into their proper PPE 